Ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between, welcome very much so to chapter 8 of the overanalysis slash walkthrough of Undercover Mission's Curse. And I still have my party hat on because we're having a party, folks. We're about done. Nobody has noticed that I eliminated the guards, but that won't last for long. Yeah, I guess it is a legitimate concern. It's not like we shot off a flare that someone could have heard or have seen. So yeah, let's go ahead and loot this body so we can get a disguise on and then just kind of lay awkwardly here. And then use a radio to call the guards to come save us or something. Help! What the hell's going on here? Where are the guards? There's someone in front. Alexei and Boris, protect the black of O. Nikolay, carry the injured down to the doctor. Oh no, I don't think we thought this through. So this clone army mercenary corps, they're probably gonna notice that we have, well, um, boobies. And none of the other mercenaries have, well, uh, tatas, I think that's the technical term. So, oh, we're pretty much screwed here. I can't see how this is gonna work out for us. This has worked wonderfully. Oh, the doctor's not even here. They just plopped us down here and walked away? Are the mercenaries just that stupid? Were they like, oh yeah, the doctor will just come in and take care of this guy eventually. And the mercenary is probably like, yeah, yeah. That guy really had wonderful breasts, you know. I, I got a good feel. It's like, wow, they're, they're amazing, almost feminine. This uniform is disgusting, smelly, and has blood stains. Off it goes. The oxygen content appears sufficient again. I no longer need a gas mask. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of every form of disguise we have. Because I can't see how, in this situation, having a disguise would be beneficial in any way. Lady, you may need to go back to secret agent school. Let's get out of here before the guards come back with the doctor. The bombs must be defused. Well, let's go to torpedo room one, steal everything that isn't nailed down, and then do a lame little time sink puzzle to get into the torpedo tubes. I have to hide the borrowed uniform first. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot about that. Yeah, I just throw it in this cabinet over here with all the medicine. It won't stick out at all. Now we go to the torpedo room and do what I said. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot it's locked. All right, we have to go to the bridge and press a button. I remember seeing it there. <coughs> here is a high concentration of extinguishing gas. I need to get out of here. Oh, miss, I don't need a gas mask anymore. Suddenly needs a gas mask. Well, let's put it on and then go back to the bridge and press a button. And then finally, and I mean finally, the gag's over. Let's go to the torpedo room and pick up everything that isn't nailed down and solve some lame puzzles. Also, you may want to go to the radio room and pick up a screwdriver. I'm just saying you probably need the screwdriver. Oh, yeah, and hide in the locker when the guards come in looking for you. Okay, now we're in the torpedo room at last. The bomb has got to be somewhere. So let's pick up the breach door handle and a random light that's just... Well, we're able to take it, so take the damn light. You're gonna need it later. Now we gotta use the breach door handle on the only torpedo tube that we can mess around with. We use it over here, then over there, then we pull it open. And oh no, look what's inside. That's the bomb. I need to defuse it really, really fast. Well, good thing we have these bomb plans that we're just gonna go ahead and use on the bomb. Yes, looky here, it's another spot the differences puzzle. Oh my god, they keep recycling the puzzles. And this one's awful, just awful. It takes a long time to figure this out. So here we go, oh look, I'm done. Phew, that was close. Now the second bomb. Yeah, we just repeat the process in Torpedo Room 2. No, use a breach thing on the stuff. And yeah, it's the exact same thing. Hell, it's the exact same place. What the? Damn, the timer is running. Well now. Oh dear me, dear me, dear me, times however big this bomb is. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to load the bomb into the torpedo to make it super explosive, or just so we can shoot it off into sea. After doing all this stuff that's, well, happening on screen right now for you. The torpedo is ready to be loaded. <laughs> to fire a torpedo, the inner door needs to be closed, and the outer door must be opened. The torpedo also needs to be aligned. Do the same puzzle we've done for a couple of times now. Yeah, mess around with the torpedo hatch, except in reverse, and then click on it. And then, oh my goodness, wow, the torpedo. It's ready to be shot off into sea, right? We done. We've saved the curse, but we know it explodes anyway. So, 
How the hell does it get exploded now? Oh, what's going on? Well, hold your horses, folks. Hold your horses. You see, we can't launch a torpedo quite yet. Yeah, you thought it'd be easy, huh? You thought, oh, we'd load the torpedo. We're done. No, no, we're not done. Yeah, we got another number puzzle in this game, folks. Yeah, you have to guess the password again. You want to know how you guess the password? Why, you go through some number sets on that random piece of paper that you picked up in the weapons officer's office. Oh, back in chapter 4 or 5. Yeah, just go through those sets of four-digit numbers until you stumble upon the right one. The number puzzles in this game are horrendous. If they didn't know before that they are being sabotaged, they certainly do now. And now she assumes a position for no good reason. No audio cues, no nothing. Nope, she's just given up like a good secret agent. Now we've got her. And now we'll place a character in front of her to hide the lack of animation. And also, none of the mercenaries are facing towards her at all. Well, except the guy blocking her vision. Yeah, the other two, they're just kind of staring in front of them. They're not even turned right. Oh, God, game, you're not even trying, are you? I think you're shocked someone made it this far. Major General, we've got her. Throw her overboard. She's still alive. No chance of survival. Hey, he name dropped the title of this chapter. And I'm supposed to believe that. In the middle of winter, unconscious, especially when the sea is almost frozen. And with me speaking through a tin can... Major Belyayeva, you are under interrogation here. I don't have to remind you about the consequences of making false statements. So how could you get back on Kursk? How could you survive in cold weather? And why has the Balakovo exploded? But that's exactly what I'm trying to explain. Any of this game's plot. Please, explain any of this game's plot. She's alive. They threw her overboard. She, she lived. She's Superwoman, apparently. But she's like a really crappy Superwoman. I can't, like, fly or have super strength. Do you know? Pick up the sub and save it. Oh, crap. We're on the last chapter. Oh, should I end the video? Oh, we're just going to finish it in one video. Otherwise, this video would be super short. And the other one's just going to be way shorter. Because talk about phoning in an ending. Whew. Undercover missions curse did a thesis on it. So, I'm standing on the deck of the Kursk and have two goals. To foil the villain's plan, and to survive. I was unsure whether I would be able to return to the Kursk, so I had to ensure my survival on the Balakovo. And I was certain that I would find a way to thwart the enemy's plan. And find a way to record while I'm passing underneath this bridge on my cell phone. So yeah, the game's making you do exactly what you did in Chapter 7, except now it's Chapter 9, and you gotta put the work gloves on because the rope's wet. Whew, talk about creativity. Yeah, it's pretty much the same damn thing, except now we got a lamp that we got, that we picked up in the torpedo room, which makes no sense at all. This game hates continuity. Oh, it definitely does. Because we picked up that lamp after we went to the torpedo room, which meant we already had cut down this damn rope because we went back on the curse. So there's no continuity. We just suddenly have a lamp for no reason, which we're going to use on this corner over here after we pick up the crowbar again and open all the chests again. Yeah, we're doing the same thing that we just did not that long ago. Let there be light. Ah, there's one more crate in the back. Which we're gonna open now that we have a light, because you know, there's no way we could have opened the crate with that poor lady that we had before. Just impossible. But oh no, look what's happened. Someone's coming. I have to hide, quickly. Yeah, we gotta hide in this corner. But first, we gotta put back the crate how we found it. The other chests are fine. We can just leave them open. No one will notice the fact that all the other chests are open. No, just this one crate back here. We have to make sure we close it. Then we can take off the light and just, well, wait. Very good. 
Here in the dark, I can hide. Everything seems to be clear down here. Oh, at last we're liberated, so let's go do something kind of different now. If I set the boat into the water, it will float away. I will need the rope later. Good. Now I can set the boat into the water. With that rope, the boat won't float away. That close to the ship's side, you can hardly even see it. No, that wasn't a goof on my part. I intentionally left it like that to explain my thought process. Oh, there's something here I can interact with. I'm going to use some random items on it, and maybe something will happen. Oh, okay, she has a plan. Huh, cool. She could have told me she had a plan, because I have no idea what I'm doing. So now, what do you do, you ask? Why, you go to the captain's room and place a bomb on his desk. Yeah, we're not being discreet at all, because screw these mercenaries, we're not going to hide the bomb. Although we probably should. I mean, at least throw it underneath the pillow or something. Oh, well. Bombs implanted. No, it's not. We gotta assemble it first. It's like the same thing we did with the matching puzzle, but in reverse. Creative. Now I still have to hide somewhere. No, we're not attempting to hide it at all. We're just putting it on the damn desk. And after I built the bomb, I placed it on the desk. You know the rest. I pulled myself into the boat, which I'd left in the water. I would never have survived the cold without the wetsuit. Oh, whoops. I forgot about the wetsuit. Yeah, the same guard showed up again. We bashed his skull in with the wrench and we stole his wetsuit. There, mystery solved. Oh, if you're wondering how we got a hold of the wetsuit, we just kind of absorbed one when we opened up the crate. Yeah, it's like a symbiont from Spider-Man. So we're basically Venom at this point. Didn't you return to Kursk? I didn't. The exit was closed. And a moment later, then I saw the patrol boat explode. The rescue fleet found me before I was completely frozen. Your story is completely unbelievable. And kind of dumb and a bit of a waste of my time because, well, what the hell was the plot of this game? Miss Belyayeva, the Kursk has sunk. The Russian North Sea fleet has lost its flagship. I want to hear the truth. How often do I have to tell you the truth then? Once would suffice. Or at least if you're going to lie, tell a good story, damn it. I want to talk to my superior. Call Colonel Bobrov. You have a new superior, Agent Belyayeva. Major General Gremin. He also leads the investigation of your case. Oh no, Gremin, oh my god, not him. Not a character I never met and know nothing about. Anybody but him, oh no, what's going to happen? Zero chance of survival, Miss Belyayeva. No one survives at these temperatures. Well, how about changing the temperature in the interrogation room then? I'm sure you have access to a thermostat. Oh wait, you're talking about us in the sea. Huh. He's just gonna, like, stand here for a while, isn't he? Not doing anything. No, it's getting dark now. Is this the end of the game? Oh, wow, that's definitely the end of the game. Huh. Do you want my two cents, folks? Do you want it? Well, I'm telling you it anyway. I didn't really care for this game. Definitely not with the money. There's no plot. At least no plot I can make sense of. The puzzles are just incredibly frustrating for the most part. And this game feels really amateurish. I kind of think that this game wasn't ready to ship, but shipped anyway. Because it just doesn't feel complete. It feels too bare bones, too slapped together, too, well, not fleshed out. And really, really cheap when it comes to the voice acting, the animation, to just the game design overall. It feels very cheap in a 1950s, hey, I can see the fishing wire for that flying saucer kind of way. There may have been a good game here, but sadly, it didn't come out. At least for me. And you know what, folks? You know what I learned, too, while playing this game? That apparently someone else is making another adventure game will be like a survival adventure game about the curse. Maybe I'll give that a go when it comes out. But for now, anyway, Undercover Missions Curse. Unless you can get it super duper cheap, I'd say just avoid it. It ain't worth the hassle. So on that note, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. I've been some guy. I'll see you next time. Hopefully.